Hey Leo, what's up? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot coming to you for your general love reading, August 2020, but you know it's timeless. This is for what's ever going on in your love life. This could definitely relate to someone that you're dealing with, connecting with. It could be the energy of a past person, an ex, whomever, okay? Leo, this is for you, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading, guys, so it won't resonate for every single Leo out there. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Discard it, throw it out the window. Also, do check your moon, rising, and Venus sign as well as the other videos on my channel. I do weekly love readings for all the zodiacs. You may find that you resonate with a video one week and then the next week you just don't, okay? So do check your other signs. All right, Leo, if you want a private love reading, let me know. The information's in the description box. From now till August 31st, you get a free love question with the purchase of any love tarot spread, okay? If you're not interested in purchasing a reading, join my mailing list for upcoming deals, special offers, and promotions, okay, on my readings. All right, also connect with me, Instagram, Facebook, wherever, okay? All right, Leo, this is a general, but you know, you know, just take pieces of it you may find. Some of it resonates, some of it doesn't. If it does resonate, like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate your love and support. I have the Everyday Witch for the main spread and the Light Sears to clarify. All right, let's get into your reading. Leo, Leo, whoever you're dealing with in love, what messages do we have here for the sign of Leo? What do they need to know? All right, in a recent past, we got someone here, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. This is definitely could be you, okay? There's something here. There's a lot of passion, okay, and desire to be with this person. I do feel you guys want to move things forward, okay? That night energy, you guys could just be in the dating scene or right now, maybe you guys are just connecting with this person. I'm getting the energy. You guys are not really committed to this person yet, but I do feel like you want forward movement. I do feel like there's a lot of desire to move forward with this person, okay, whoever you're thinking about. This could be them um, thinking about you, okay, and wanting to move forward. The current energy is the four wands, so definitely wanting to come together, wanting to unite. I do feel like you may feel like this person is your soulmate, like you guys are destined and meant to be. You definitely could be thinking about marriage, engagement, okay, celebrating. Some of you guys are hoping for a union with this person with that four wands. It's about coming together if you guys have kids or just coming together in some kind of reunion. Perhaps you guys have been a distance apart for some time, okay? On your person's mind, Leo, is the Queen of Wands in reverse. So I'm definitely getting some hesitancy from your partner, okay? This is your energy. Perhaps something here was not moving forward in a recent past, okay? Now, how do they see you right now? The Three of Swords. So I'm seeing that, you know, they looking at you as maybe recovering from something here, okay? They may have put you in a third party or there may have been some kind of hurt, okay? Emotional pain, disappointment that this person has caused, okay? How do they feel in their emotions? What are they not revealing to you? The Four of Swords. So your person's resting right now. I feel like you guys may be taking a break. I do feel like there's very little communication right now with you and this person. Ultimately, you know, your person's just not communicating. They may have gone ghost on you. They're a little bit quiet, okay? Something here is not moving forward here with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Someone may be feeling like, you know, they lack confidence and passion for this right now. But I think ultimately... I don't think that's true. I just think that this person can't get something up and running. I think in a recent past, you guys had a lot of desire for each other, but maybe something here died, okay? All right, and I think that your person's just not communicating right now, which is probably making you feel a little unsure about what's going on. So how your person sees moving forward, the Page of Cups. So whoever you're thinking about, there's an apology that's needed. Your person is going to extend an apology if you guys haven't heard from this person with that four of swords if they're kind of you know spending a lot of time doing a lot of thinking not speaking to you they are going to reach out i do feel like there's someone here who wants to extend an offer of love okay they want to express to you something here about how they care about you there's feelings here page of cups is definitely asking for forgiveness and apology here okay cancer pisces scorpio energy and it's because they broke your heart leo there's someone here who may have um, hurt you in some way. Now, what's happening external? That King of Cups. Some of you guys are dealing with a water sign. Okay, someone has a lot of love for you and they want to nurture this connection. I don't think this person is truly revealing how they feel about you. I think that they're really quiet, okay? That four of swords, they're, they're kind of just taking a break right now. But the reality of it all is that this person has a lot of love. And I feel like the, ch the challenge is this person expressing it or really showing you, okay? Perhaps 
that knight of wands is you know a little bit flighty perhaps they may have been in and out of your life perhaps they weren't always consistent okay when it came to connecting with you when it came to dating and i feel like perhaps you you wanted a union you want you wanted to come together you wanted to be with this person but i almost feel like Either you intimidated this person or there was something here this person couldn't take action, okay, towards you. The Queen of Wands in reverse, it's definitely your energy, but perhaps they weren't open to moving forward here with you. I also feel this person could have been dealing with someone else, okay? But ultimately, I'm seeing this person doing some thinking with that Four of Swords, and now they know what they want. I feel with the Page of Cups, they definitely want to extend an apology here. And that, that King of Cups, he has love, but perhaps he's not always the best at expressing it, okay? And that... That I'm thinking this person was really struggling with. Advice from Tarot is the judgment card. This is about reconciliation. So Spirit wants you to make a decision here. Okay, Leo? You're going to have to make a decision about this person. If you're going to let them in. If you're going to open up your heart. Okay? Because I do feel, Leo, you may be a little bit guarded. Okay? Especially coming out of this Three of Swords energy. Some hurt. Okay? Some heartbreak. Perhaps this person left you, um, you know, neglected you, abandoned you. I do feel you're trying to recover. You're trying to heal from a situation here regarding this person. Okay? And I almost feel like... Like right now you guys are probably not in the best mood you guys are maybe angry maybe upset with this person with the queen of wands in reverse okay i don't think you're your happy self when it comes to this person the outcome is beautiful look at that full energy aries here so i feel like ultimately you guys are going to make a decision okay and that decision spirit wants you to go ahead and make definitely looks like it's a reconciliation here for a lot of you guys that fool i'm going to clarify but it looks like there's a new beginning for you guys it looks like there's something here that you're going to be starting and you're going to let go of any any hurt, anything that that's kept you stuck in your head. That nine of swords, you definitely could have been, you know, overthinking things. You could have been a lot of um a lot of anxieties and worries about this person after maybe going separate ways, maybe anxieties and worries that this person wouldn't move forward here with you. And I think ultimately, you know, you guys were hurt, you guys were disappointed with that three of swords, but I think you guys are letting it go. That's the overall theme, nine of swords in reverse, okay? And I think that you guys will have to also let down your guards a little bit. That four of pentacles, you guys could be uh, like blocking this person out okay i almost feel like you guys aren't sure about this person again that three of swords you're hurt and so now maybe you guys have your defenses up when it comes to this person but i do feel you may let down your guard just a little bit or kind of be open-minded because they're coming in with this page of cups they're asking for forgiveness they want to tell you that they care about you there's emotions there's feelings here in this page of cups and it's that it's that first beginning it's that first step so if you guys have not been talking for a while they're willing to take that initiative to get something up and running okay and it's ultimately because this king of cups is here it doesn't have to be a water sign it could just be someone who has a lot of unconditional love for you and perhaps before they didn't recognize it okay maybe they didn't really they weren't sure about it that knight of wands is a little bit immature okay this person could have been very immature in the past now what's this nine of swords here for leo let's get into this reading a little bit more nine of swords definitely some frustration anxieties about this person you may have had a lot of sleepless nights yeah this knight of wands in verse you guys were dealing with someone who was very inconsistent they were very unreliable they could have just been in and out of your life a little bit of a player energy i ultimately feel like this person and you guys had a lot of attraction, but this person was not taking the, the action that you needed them. I almost feel like this person would maybe lead you on or have you thinking that you guys would be going down a path and then all of a sudden they pull away, okay? Or they would withdraw or they would just like disappear. And I think, Leo, you guys are tired of it. And perhaps you got to a point where you couldn't take it anymore. I feel like you guys may have really been up in your head about it and it came to the point it's like okay are we going to do this or not are we going to come together are we going to have a relationship here with the four wands are we going to you know even go down the road toward engagement right so this knight of wands in the recent past yeah the ace of wands i feel like for some of you guys you may have felt this person only wanted you for like sex or intimacy there's something here that was just passion only and perhaps you didn't see that this was going anywhere i almost feel like you guys had the hots for each other, but you wanted to make sure there was more than that, okay? What's this Ace of Wands about? Definitely could have been dealing with another fire sign. If not, there was a lot of fire and chemistry between you guys, okay? The devil in reverse. I feel like your person, 
there definitely could have been someone obsessed with, you know, um, some kind of sexual behavior acts. I do feel with the devil card as well, there's something here that may have to um, be released, okay? You could have definitely been dealing with a Capricorn here. Your partner could have been dealing with someone as well that they had to let go of in order to come into some kind of union here with you. I feel like something here was getting in the way of this connection. And while you wanted it to move forward, it was just almost moving forward or moving in the wrong direction, okay? And I feel like there's something here that some either a codependent relationship, someone, you know, your partner could have been dealing with someone else. There could have been an addiction or some kind of bad habit, okay? Now, the Four of Wands, Leo, I think ultimately you guys are looking for peace and harmony in your home. You know, if you guys have kids, you're looking for, um, yeah, you're looking for balance in your life, okay? That temperance energy. Some of you guys are dealing with a Sagittarius. I feel like you guys are just wanting, you know, you're wanting a relationship where you feel at peace, where you feel, you know, comfortable, you're able to kind of just be yourself, your raw self, and you feel like you're in control of yourself. And I feel in, in your emotions, okay, that temperance energy is, is patience as well. But I also feel like when it comes to, um, you know, relationships, you're just looking for balance, you're looking for reciprocity, you're looking for um, to feel like home with this person, okay, and maybe you just haven't found that, okay, some of you guys definitely down with the Sag, what's this temperance about? But I also feel like it requires you to be patient. Yeah, we got someone here you may have been dealing with for a very long time, dating, connecting with, whatever. There's something here that you may have invested um, seven months, seven years into, um, whatever. They, ultimately, there's someone here you've been waiting for. You've been planting seeds. You've been hoping that it would grow into something more. And I do feel it's finally coming together here with the four wands. This is you being patient, you doing things in moderation, you working on your healing, okay? And Leo, it's finally paying off, okay? That Seven of Pentacles is about investments, value. So I do feel you guys are planting the seeds and um, nourishing a connection here that really has the potential to move forward. The Queen of Wands in reverse, so on your person's mind is, I think that they think that you're upset with them. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like perhaps they were holding back in the past and now they feel you're holding back. Now they feel like they don't know how to come in and to present you with some kind of offer. I'm almost feeling like they think that you are no longer wanting to put effort in this connection here with the queen of wands in reverse and right now you're not willing to take that initiative or, or make that first effort okay so i do feel your person is a little bit um intimidated or a little bit unsure about how to come and offer something here to you they do view you as being hurt okay by possibly their past actions with the three of swords There's some heartbreak maybe perhaps this person um broke up with you or they caused you some kind of hurt could have been related to a third party as well with the three of swords Definitely you can be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius energy. What's this three of swords here? We got the seven of cups and the king of wands in reverse. So definitely here a divine partnership, right? The queen and king of wands here. Um, so I do feel, you know, they're in the reverse. So I feel like the time just wasn't right, okay? I also feel here with the king of wands in reverse, you could have definitely been dealing with someone here who had a lot of other options in love. They really didn't truly know what they wanted at that time. And I feel like that caused you some hurt, okay? They definitely could have had other people they were involved with. They were um, delusioned, okay? They weren't seeing things clearly. They didn't really know what they wanted, okay? They were very indecisive, and that's why they were not able to move forward here with you. That King of Wands in verse, he wasn't taking action, or he, she, masculine or feminine. This person was not taking action because they didn't see things clearly, okay? And, you know, that that caused a lot of issues, and this person truly didn't see what you had to offer, okay? But I feel like your person now and their feelings and emotions is in this Four of Swords energy. So your person's definitely spending a lot of time alone. They're thinking, okay? They're trying to rest, trying to recover, okay? And a lot of you guys, this person had a lot on their plate. Some of you guys also had, um, you're dealing with someone who had another option here. Two of Pentacles, could have been two options, two paths, two people here. And ultimately, they're trying to get clarity, right? That Seven of Cups, a lot of confusion, a lot of people in the mix. Ultimately, this person is trying to find out how to move forward, right? The Two of Pentacles, who do they put their time, energy, and effort into? Because perhaps I think that this person just still doesn't know. And they are trying to find um, a way to move forward here. King of Swords. So some of you guys are done with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. I feel your partner is finally cutting something out. There's something here that has to be let go. And I feel with the King of Swords, they're seeing the truth of the matter. They're seeing things, how it truly exists, and they're cutting out the BS. They're cutting out this other party. They're cutting out anything, any drama, anything that's been getting in the way of them being able to move forward to you and any confusion, any any other obstacles or any um 
any options here in love, okay? And now you're dealing with someone with the Page of Cups. They're coming to you with an apology, okay? It's an offer of love. We got the Hermit and the Page of Swords in reverse. So your person has not been talking to you for some time. I do feel like there's been a break. There's been a disconnect in the communication, okay? You guys definitely could be dealing with a Virgo. I almost feel like... This person is wants to move forward, okay? That page of cups, they're wanting to offer um extend in love, uh, ex express themselves, um, you know, send you some roses, send you a, me a text message and saying, hey, you know, I do care about you. You know, I want to say I'm sorry. This person right now is is really keeping an eye on you. That page of swords, they are watching you, okay? And that's what they're doing at this very moment in time. They're in a hermit mode, so they are trying to find out. They're getting some enlightenment on answers on how to approach you to offer you this page of cups, to express to you how they really deeply feel about you, okay? Because... At the um and the foundation, what you're not seeing is this King of Cups energy. Someone who's mature, okay, finally, um, you know, they know what they want. There's a lot of love here they have for you. It's pro uh, probably dealing with someone who wasn't aware of it before, okay? Um, we've got two kings here. Definitely could be a same-sex um relationship as well. But I'm feeling a person now is cutting something out, right? And they're now seeing things. They now um feel... And they're aware of this love they have for you, okay? This is a mature love, but I feel like this person didn't know how to express it, okay? This person also just, you know, they didn't know, um, you know, what is they wanted. But Three of Swords, they caused a lot of hurt, okay? This breakup, this severing ties, you may have felt at a loss without this person. You may have felt like they betrayed you in some way with the Three of Swords. I almost feel like if some of you guys, this person could have been looking for attention from other people but ultimately something was not victoria something was not able to come into um to come into fruition and i feel like now your person is the one that's hurt the six of wands in reverse they're lacking attention from other people they, they want attention from you i do feel this person only has love for you now okay i do feel this person now knows what it is they want and that judgment is making a decision so spirit says you're gonna have to make a decision about this if you want this person to come on back in your life okay if you're willing to take that next leap of faith moving forward here into the unknown you may feel like i don't know if this person has changed i don't know if they're gonna hurt me again well that's gonna be a risk that you're gonna have to take okay that full energy is, is a risk it's it's taking a leap of faith into something that you're not you're not aware of right that five of swords yeah there's a lot of struggles you you're very up in your head a lot of anxieties and worries about this you just don't know you know i you know i, I dealt with this person before and this person has put me through the ringer. It's been a lot of drama, um, a lot of hurt, um, anxieties, headaches. And I feel ultimately you guys are just like, I just don't know about doing that. But the five of swords in verse, I do feel like you guys are letting that go to be able to take this next step, leap of faith forward, okay? And it may be difficult for you. This is not a decision that you're going to make overnight, okay? But you do got the two of cups, Leo. This is a very strong soulmate. This is a very strong union that wanted to come into, um, that wanted to come together, okay? And spirit is saying... It's up to you. You're going to have to make that judgment. What is, it, what is it that you want, Leo? Do you want this person back? Do you feel like this person has changed? That judgment is reconciliation. So there is reconciliation on the table. But of course, it's up to you, okay? We got the world card. So there is a lot of positive forward movement. If you decide to move forward with this person, then things look beautiful. If you decide not to, then you have another option coming. You have another opportunity. That world is bringing positive forward change in your love life. Two of Cups is here. You definitely could be meeting a soulmate or um, someone here of your lifetime, of a lifetime, a life partner. So it looks beautiful for you, Leo, but ultimately the decision is up to you, okay? You know the past with this person. You know what they've done to you. You know um, how hurt you've been. So only you can make that decision, okay, given the situation. So Leo, that's what I have for you. Let me know if this resonates. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification button so you know when I upload. If you want a personal reading, let me know, okay? Take care.